Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Toned In Entertainment, where we love pop culture. Today, it's time for another movie look back review. Now, earlier this week, I reviewed Short Circuit 1, and I still do enjoy watching that movie. If you guys haven't seen my review, the link is down below. Definitely, guys, check out that review after you're done with this one. But what about the movie we're looking at today? The sequel, Short Circuit 2, released two years later in 1988. Does this movie deserve to be alive, or should these movie creators got more input. Let's get on with the review. The movie once again stars Tim Blaney doing the voice of Johnny Five and Fisher Stevens reprising his role as Ben. And introducing to this movie will be Michael McKean who plays Fred Ritter, Cynthia Gibb as Sandy Benatoni, Jack Weston as Oscar, and was directed by Kenneth Johnson. Now, when we catch up to Ben here in the sequel, well, his life hasn't turned out probably how he thought it was, because now he's selling his little number five robots as toys on the streets of New York. And right next to him is a man named Fred Ritter, who specializes in selling jewelry that aren't necessarily from the brands that they're advertised to be from. Now, Ben is really down on his luck. He's pretty much flat broke, and there looks like there's no hope in sight. That's until one of his little robots takes off and finds its way inside of a toy store where a woman named Sandy comes across it, loves it, and offers him a chance of a lifetime. Now Fred finds Ben's robots an opportunity for him to actually make some money as well and offers a business partnership to Ben. He gets Ben set up in a warehouse where they can actually try to mass produce these robots. The only problem is somebody has already beat them to this warehouse, they're working underground, and they're up to no good. Now things don't go smoothly for Ben and Fred because the people that were underground before them at this warehouse, well, they flexed their muscle and now all their help has left. Being very desperate, Ben decides to call Stephanie from the first movie and tells them he could really use their help. So what does Stephanie do? Well, she ships them Johnny Five to help them out. Now we all learned from the first movie that Johnny Five loves input. He loves to read, he loves to explore, he loves to learn new things. Johnny Five, he's alive and he has a huge thirst for knowledge. And that's one of Ben's major fears as he's in New York City, because if he realizes that he's in the city, he's gonna go out there and just get overloaded with everything New York City has to offer. And that's exactly what happens. As Johnny Five goes out to explore, he finds himself causing mischief in a bookstore, even boosting car stereos to even hang gliding. There's no short of the crazy things that Johnny Five will get himself into. Now we know that Johnny Five is very book smart, but unfortunately for our robot friend, he's not very street smart as he gets duped by who he thought was his friend, Oscar, to do some very bad things, actually things that are criminal. But even worse than that, he puts the lives of his friends, Ben and Fred, in danger. Now Johnny Five goes through a lot in this movie and at one point it looks like our little friend could actually be disassembled but with a little help from Fred, well he gets him back on his feet with a badass look and an even badder attitude. Now do I recommend you guys check out Short Circuit 2? Yes I do. I actually enjoy this movie more than the original. I think that's because we get more of our friend Johnny Five here in this movie. While currently not available to stream for free on any of your favorite platforms, it is available to rent for as little as $3.99. Now on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give Short Circuit 2 a 7.5 out of 10. I think this is just such a fun, loving, and innocent type of movie. It's a movie that the whole family can enjoy from grandparents to parents to even the young ones. You can put Short Circuit 2 on and I think everybody in the family will enjoy this movie. Now have you guys ever watched the Short Circuit movies? And if you have, what are your thoughts? Which one do you like better? The first one or the second one? I'm definitely digging the second one even more. I enjoyed the first one, but the second one, we've got a whole lot of Johnny Five. He's up to a whole lot of mischief and it's just such a fun and entertaining movie. All right, guys, if you like movie look back reviews like this, make sure you subscribe here to Toned In Entertainment for future videos. Subscribe to the channel. Do it. Go now. Do it now.